Ukrainian troops are fighting intense battles to take back territory in the south and the east. Some of the most perilous battles in Russia's war in Ukraine are being fought in the sky, though. Fred Pleitgen shows us what's at stake for the fighter pilots behind the controls. Ukrainian Su-25 attack aircraft given the go to assault Russian positions. Against all the odds, Ukraine's Air Force is still very much in the fight, pilot Alexei tells me. Are you helping the ground forces now a lot in the south with the counteroffensive operation? Yep, yep. The mission's extremely dangerous, especially for frontline attack aircraft. Ukraine's ace is trying to keep Russian air defenses off balance. We lost uh, many young uh, pilots from our brigade. This uh, taught us uh, to change something. And day by day, we try to fly not the same as yesterday. While Kiev says its counteroffensive is progressing, the battles are tough and gains hard to come by. The biggest threat, Ukraine says, Russian air power. This video purporting to show a Russian combat helicopter taking out a Ukrainian vehicle. The Ukrainians say Russian interceptor aircraft, like the advanced Su-35, often stop their old MiG-29 jets from operating near the front lines. This MiG-29 pilot, who asked us to hide his face and use only his call sign Juice, tells me. Uh, you can be like a maverick, but with, uh, without a proper uh, hardware, you can't win. Here they go. There goes one. The Ukrainians say they need F-16s from the U.S. and its allies to level the playing field and to fully utilize the air-launched missiles the U.S. has already given them. In between the taxing wartime missions, pilots are already learning the basics of the F-16, hoping they'll be able to fly them in the future. We are trying to improve our English skills. Uh, we are flying simulators. Um, so at the moment, we have uh, uh, like uh, improvised simulators of F-16 almost on uh, all the bases. The pilots say for them, it's a matter of life and death. The attrition rate among combat aviators extremely high. Both Alexei's squadron leader and his wingman killed in combat, he says. When you see the explosion, of your colleague by your eyes uh, in real time, uh, it's a sh it's a shocked uh, it's a sh it's a sh it's a shocking picture, yeah. And uh, the really big uh, difficult in the situation, it's uh, how to how to sit in aircraft again, again and again and again. But when the call comes, they say they will be ready and back in the seat, taking the fight to the Russians. Fred Plekin, CNN, Kiev.